In today's video, we're going to be building a super car washing machine and then putting it into use. Hello chaps and welcome back to Tino Car Care. Today is the day that I finally get my new van. You may be asking, why Tino are you getting a new van? Well the reason is, the UK government has introduced a new ultra low emission zone in order to lower the emissions. So if you enter this zone and your car is not compliant, then you'll be charged £12.50 a day. My old mobile car van was a 2015. If it was a 2016, I would have survived. So now I've been left no choice but to sell my old van and get my new van. So stay tuned, we're on our way to get it now. Chaps, comment below what are your honest thoughts about this new ULES charge. So after a three and a half hour journey, we finally arrived. Check out that beast. So chaps, this is going to be my new 2018 Persia Partner van. And I don't know about you guys, but I just personally love the way it looks. Here in London, I need to fit into a lot of tight spaces in order to do my job. So I feel this van is the perfect size as it's not too big and it fits a lot of my equipment. Today's the day to get to fix up this bad boy. So this is how it looks now. Stay tuned. In two days, it's going to be completely different. Time to buy some wood for my new mobile car wash setup. We then put my equipment into the van to plan how to set everything up. And once we are happy, we get to work building the setup and constantly adjusting things to make it perfect. As usual, in London it is raining, but the show must go on. My uncle is a master carpenter and I am very grateful that he is here to help me build my dream car wash setup. Day 2, we get some more wood to finish things up. Ok chaps, so now as you can see, the shoving system is now complete, now I'm going to give it a good paint on top. So for the colour of the setup, I have been inspired by this car right here, which I take care of on a regular basis. This colour is going to make the setup very unique. But let's see, hopefully it turns out well. Let us know in the comments below if you think we made the right decision in using this colour. Stay tuned, as late in the video I will be revealing the winner of last week's giveaway. Also, I have another special giveaway for you guys. Okay chaps, the van is now finally complete. Let's check it out. So as you can see chaps, I've got everything I need. I've got for my brushes, sprays, snow from lances, all my equipment that I use to wash my car. So this is my favorite part of the setup. Put all of my cloths here from small microfibers, window cloths, big microfibers, brushes underneath there. And it's just so convenient, so easy for me to take something out, put it back in. And also, we still have a little space in there as well. So I've got my safety cone, hoover, buckets, and a spare jet wash in there as well. So I've got everything I need to wash cars to perfection. So with the setup complete, we have a beautiful Ferrari piece that waiting for us. So let's make our way there now. Ooh. 
Also chaps, if you're interested in buying my old van, then be sure to reach out to me on my Instagram at Tino Car Care. Now chaps, we have a Ferrari for you guys. A Ferrari 488 Pizza. So let's check out the condition of it. As you can see, it has a light layer of dirt and dust, so it definitely needs some attention. Let's start off with the interior, as I use an air blower to remove the dust from the upper surfaces and let it go to the ground, where my vacuum will take care of it. I use a Tino detailing brush to further feed my vacuum of dirt and dust on different surfaces of the piece though. Time to give these rows that perfect clean. If you have been enjoying this video, then be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as there's a lot more to come. for the green snow form. So I like to put the snow form on the car first, then rinse the car. But for me, as I am always testing different methods, I have found that this way works the best, as it seems to break down and remove more dirt. This is because the snow form is not being further diluted by the water, and also it tends to stay longer on a drier car. The only time I would recommend pre-rinsing for the snow form is if you're working in very hot conditions or using a very harsh kind of snow foam that isn't pH neutral. Now I'm going to leave this Tino green snow foam for a couple of minutes just to bring down the dirt. Just look how it clings to the core and it just drags down the dirt. amazing that looks. If you want to buy some Tino green snow foam then head over to our Tino car care store. The link is in the description below. With most of the dirt removed from the car, I now clean it with my mitts and car shampoo. Chaps, here's a top tip. Never let your mitts or cloths touch the floor. This is because the floor is full of rocks and gravel, which can scratch the car. 
If however something does fall on the floor, then do not touch the car with it. Give it a thorough clean and then look and feel whether it is 100% clean and safe to use it on your car. If not, then you may have to just throw it away or just use it for another purpose. Time to rinse off this stunning 488 Pizza. Chaps, if there's any video you'd like me to make, for example how to do something or any car you'd like to see me detail, then let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to make that video for you. Now we're using the Tino Ceramic Snow Foam. When using a ceramic snow foam, I like to put it on, rinse it off and dry the car quite quickly. I don't let it dwell for too much like a normal snow foam as you don't really want it to dry. As you can see, the car has no protection whatsoever as the water is just staying there. But after applying the ceramic foam, look how the water is sheeting off the car, which shows that it is now protected. After rinsing off the piece though, I dry it using a drying towel and an air blower. Time to do the door shots. So in my videos you may notice that sometimes I do the door shots first and sometimes I do the windows first. So usually it is best to do the windows first then the door shots later on. But some cars including this Ferrari have the door shots which can leak onto the windows so it is best to dry them first before doing the windows. For the Tino giveaway results. The winner for last week's video giveaway is Paul46. These Tino products will be sent your way and I hope you enjoy them. Now chaps, let's move on to the interior. When cleaning Alcantara, I like to make sure the fibers face in the same direction, which gives it that nice and fresh look. <laughs> this week's giveaway will be the first ever bottle of Tino Green Snow Foam. If you'd like to win this very bottle, then all you need to do is like, comment and subscribe to enter the giveaway. The winner will be announced in the next video. Time for a quick check on the 488 Pizza using an exterior detailer. Let's finish this Ferrari with the tyres shine and the wheels which are wiped down. Here are your results, enjoy! Ciao.
Just look at that mirror like shine. Hold on, are we forgetting something? For the best products to keep your car looking amazing, head over to the Tino Car Care website. Okay chaps, I really hope you have enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next video.